travel friends. Today we're going to be talking about the most famous sandwich shop in Florence, Italy. It's called Alentico Vinayo. This sandwich shop is all over the guides. Every YouTube video that I saw about Florence, Italy mm -hmm. and food in Florence, Italy showcased this sandwich shop. So the sandwich shop was started in the 1960s mm -hmm. and I think the current owners took over uh, in the 1980s. It started as one sandwich shop, but it sort of expanded to, I think, three shops. I would say that it's a tad overrated. Let's talk about why. One is that the bread is not focaccia, right? What is right. the bread? It's schiacciata. Okay, so it's schiacciata and not focaccia, Yeah. right? And there's sort of a reason why <laughs> most people have not heard about schiacciata. It's pretty different. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy is a focaccia fanatic, yes. so he's going to be really good at explaining the differences between schiacciata and focaccia. Uh, so schiacciata is actually a very traditional in, in, a bread that's unique to Florence. And I didn't really know that. I came in eating that sandwich thinking it's focaccia. And focaccia is known to be pillowy soft, mm -hmm. right? It's supposed to be very moist because there's a lot of olive oil content in there. Scacciata is not that. <laughs> Scacciata is sort of like a denser, less flavorful, tougher tougher version of focaccia. In my head, it's kind of like if I tried to make focaccia and it didn't turn out well. <laughs> it would be scacciata. So it is, it is interesting because I, I mean, I like bread. Uh, I don't we, know we, the we differences as much, but they do at first sight, they kind of look like it would be the same. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like you kind of go in thinking it is focaccia yep. if you're like me and don't do any research yep. before you take a bite. <laughs> the bread is traditional and it does make it a very traditional Florentine sandwich. Mm -hmm. However, it's also that bread that I feel doesn't make it that good or as good as I was expecting. Inside the bread, you know, there's tons of condiments that you can pick from. There's different types of meats, cheeses, spreads, um, and, and all of that inside the bread is great, right? Or inside the sandwich is great. But I feel like the bread just, oh man, it's just, it just doesn't cut it. It doesn't stand up there um, with, you know, the, the great breads of the world. And if you're a big carb person, if you're a big bread person like we are, uh, the, the bread falls pretty flat. And I feel like the, the condiments inside the sandwich doesn't really make up for the shortcomings of the bread. So from a foodie standpoint, very, very, I feel very, very overrated. From a non-foodie standpoint, I think you should treat it as a tourist attraction. Yeah, if yeah. you want to check that off of your list, yeah. do it. The sandwiches are really big. We split one yeah. um, and had plenty it's, left. It's a big sandwich. Uh, yes, I think that it is a... Florentine experience, mm -hmm. think of it as a tourist attraction for yeah. sure, right? Like, and like a lot of tourist attractions, there are lines, mm -hmm. there are preferred hours to go uh, when there are less lines or shorter lines, right? And I guess for most tourist attractions, some people are gonna really like it, mm -hmm. and some people are just gonna be like, why did I get in line for this? Yeah. Um, know though that uh, there are other sandwich places mm -hmm. in Florence that serve extremely, uh, a very, very similar sandwich and um, you know so if you're if you just want to try the sandwich and the the unique florentine bread the scacciata mm -hmm. uh, for the sake of that experience uh you know you can, there's other places that you you can go so yeah i feel that um, if the line isn't too long you know do it uh, but i would say set sort of low foodie expectations and for non-foodies it was fine it filled me up um I, I didn't have that, oh, I need to go back again. But I checked the box and moved on. Great rave review. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, that's it for this episode, guys. Bye. Happy eats.